it weren't too long ago that we sowed some pickling onions and these are in uh, Paris silver skin they're called they've grown really well in this little tub but they're getting to be a decent size now and I don't want them to get too big plus I've already sown another container to replace this when we harvest it so I'm going to take these onions out and then I can probably do another video on cooking channel showing you how I pickle them we'll see if they come out first though it is quite a big bunch I think they're definitely ready to come out loads and loads of roots I'm going to free those roots off by just dousing them in water to loosen them all up rather than pulling them all apart and tearing all the stems off so I'll just fill this container up with some water and we'll see how we go with it got a really nice smell of onion as I'm doing this off of these top leaves normally on onions especially small onions like spring onions I cut these tops off and use them before the bulbs develop you've probably seen me do that on previous videos but on this occasion because it's a new onion we're trying I resist the temptation to do that I did eat one though the other day I couldn't resist it I just pulled a small one out and ate it see how we go at that I don't want to get covered in mud either Sometimes when you do this, it makes all the difference when you come to separating. And the pulling out really easy as you can see. We took away some of that restriction. And we've got some really nice size metal pickling onions there. Some are a bit smaller than others, like this one, but that doesn't matter, they'll be sweeter. Although that one might be a bit extreme. I'll probably just use that one in a salad. I never had no comments about these once we started growing them. So I'm just assuming that nobody else has tried these. They've got amazing root systems on them for little onions. So that's the last of them coming out. We've got quite a lot of onions there. So I think I'll take them outside, give them a bit of a clean up and cut some of these roots away as well. A quick snip of those roots and a bit of a wash bit of pipe. And this is what we've ended up with. Loads. A little Paris silver skin pickling onions so that is definitely more than a jar's worth of pickled onions <laughs> and considering we only grew it in a container that size that's brilliant for anybody wanting to get quick harvests from container gardening and we all know that onions are probably the most reliable things you can grow so we'll get those tucking doors And I'll try not to eat any and then we'll get a recipe sorted out for that cooking channel but for his first time growing these I said that is a really good harvest another thing that I've been looking at in that container garden is that new variety of carrots that we've been growing and that's these ones and these are called Paris Market but they're not a root carrot they're supposed to grow round Right about size of the ping pong ball maybe a little bit smaller but either way a round carrot and we've had these growing in here for quite a while but I'm not happy with progress that they've been making we took one out a couple of days ago just to have a look at it and it seemed like it were trying to grow long 
and the bottom of that carrot was bent because it hit the bottom of the tree. But as far as I was concerned, they're supposed to swell like a little baby beetroot and then you harvest them. It doesn't seem to me that that's what's happening in this container. Plus, apart from that, the tops don't look very healthy to me. They're starting to this colour and they've had feed, they've had plenty of water and they've had plenty of sun. But they don't look as healthy as they should do to me. So I'm thinking that maybe these ones I'm going to take out as well tomorrow. If I just take one of the small ones out at the edge, just have a look at what it's doing. This was the problem. The growing long carrots so they're basically not doing what they say on the packet and the problem with that is if they're not going to grow into balls then they're going to try and grow down and then they're all going to end up all bent and misshaped which is not what we're doing them for so my only option with that is to call it a day with these carrots pull them all out and maybe resow some more in a different container Maybe this container wasn't quite deep enough for what they wanted, but at the same time, they shouldn't be growing long anyway. Still perfectly usable as baby carrots. So I think this is going to be one of the first things that I'm going to do in the morning. And I'll do it early in the morning when it's a little bit cooler. It's been really warm in this greenhouse today. But I've got a sneaking suspicion we're just going to get a big bunch of little stubby baby carrots and none in the shape of balls like they're supposed to be and tomorrow we'll find out so since we've prepped all these outside and get them a good clean we can pop these straight in fridge I have got a couple of other onions in there as well which are quite similar they're spring onions so what I'll do is I'll just pop an elastic band around that bunch keep them all together until I'm ready and tomorrow we'll be doing a little bit more. We're going to sow some more seeds to keep things like this going. Because I have got another container of these growing in one of the greenhouses. In the same size top as what we've just used. And they've already germinated and they're on the way. But because I've got that kind of result, I think I might sow a couple more tubs. Because you get a lot of seeds in a pack. And onions germinate pretty much any time of year. So we'll definitely do that. We'll get those seeds sown tomorrow. We'll probably transfer some of these lettuces because they're definitely ready to be moved and we might make up a couple of baskets or something to hang in that container garden. But whatever we do decide to do, if you're interested in seeing what it is, please hit that subscribe button, press that notifications bell and we'll see you next time. Take care.